We're very fortunate here in Australia in that at the same time that we over the last few years have been engaged in this activity really of synodality in the form of a plenary council, uh, as we've, uh, we've got some momentum up about that already, Pope Francis has now invited the church universally to engage in a universal synod reflecting on synodality, on how we engage in these sort of processes, how we operate as a church to spiritual, spiritually reflect on and discern action and decision in our common life. And, uh, and so that means that the, uh, very radically, what he's done is for the first time in a process that's been happening for some 50 years now, uh, a synod of bishops following on from the Second Vatican Council, a regular gathering every few years of a synod of bishops in Rome. Uh, he's engaged, he's invited everybody throughout the world to make a contribution to that. In this period, at the beginning of, uh, of the year, we're each invited to make a contribution to the local diocesan consultation, which closes at the end of February, submissions to that. And we're invited to do that by reflecting on the 10 synod questions, which have very rich sub-questions under them, and are grouped in the three areas of communion, participation and mission. Here in Australia, of course, as we reflect on those, we're not quite starting from scratch. So the Synod's starting question of how is the journeying together of the church to announce the gospel happening today in your particular church? What steps does the Spirit invite us to take in order to grow in our journeying together? That's very similar to the question that we've been asking ourselves for the last three years of what do you think God is asking of us in Australia at this time? Asking of the church in Australia at this time. Uh, so we're not being invited really to start again. It's very clear in the documents around the Synod that the process and the questions should be adapted to what's happening in the local situation, what are the issues, what are the questions, but also what are the processes, particularly the processes of synods or councils uh, that are underway in dioceses and nationally. And so for us, as we answer, as we consider and reflect on those questions of preparing for the synod, uh, we do that in light of the uh, the prayerful reflection, these years of listening and dialogue, preparing for the plenary council, and now the outcomes of the first assembly that are available in the fruits of the assembly document that's on the plenary council's website. So as we look at those, we're invited to, in the light of the stage in the reflection that we're undertaking in our plenary council, respond to that question of the Synod about how is the journeying together to announce the gospel happening in our particular church. We'll respond to that initially at a diocesan level, all of the responses that come in in the, in the month of February will then be uh, referred to uh, the diocese from which they come and will be collated in and used to prepare a diocesan submission. Those diocesan submissions will then be considered nationally. And also by the time we're preparing our national submission to the Synod, we will have completed the second assembly of the plenary council. So that happens in the early part of July and the national submission is finalized in the early part of August. So we'll be able to draw on not just the, uh, the reflections and the contributions that are part of this early period of diocesan consultation, but also on the outcomes and the resolutions that are, that are the fruits of the second assembly of the plenary council as its process draws to a close. So one of the ways in which some of those resolutions might be implemented is in being carried forward in our national submission to the Synod on Synodality. 
So while that process has always been part of what's happened in decision making in the church, local consideration feeding into uh, broader, uh, broader reflection at a universal level, which in turn informs the action in the local churches. In the preparing for this synod, Pope Francis has given us the opportunity to engage in that in a very explicit way, drawing on our own local process of the Plenary Council in uh, reflecting on those areas of communion, participation and mission, which intersect so closely with the sort of areas that, were, that uh, have been, uh, been raised and are continuing to be part of the Plenary Council process as we prepare our national submission to the conversation of the worldwide church, which will come to its final point next in October next year in the, uh, the gathering in the Senate in Rome. Thank mm -hmm. you.